Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we're back in the main base. Um, and I noticed that when I was bringing the train up, the, the steam engines looked like there was a little bit less coal here. And I'm worried about that. So I think we need to adjust this for now, figure things out, possibly even get these guys sort of allocated for that instead. So what we're going to do is we want to feed some of this coal that's from this patch into this lane here so that this coal can be um, so we can have full production with the steam because as we're adding all of these factories, they need a lot of power. Let's go and check on that um, this factory here, the, the oil thing, the refinery. Yeah, it takes 7.2 megawatts to run this thing and drain of 240 kilowatts. Now, if we look at our, our, um, our usages, yeah, it, that's a lot of wattage just to make that happen. So yeah, one big refinery takes up so much of this total. So we're going to have to really think about getting, maybe we're going to get the solid fuel coming in here, I'm thinking, or, um, possibly coal, depending on our proclivities for the day. Now then, we want to get this moved to here. All right. Okay, that's fine. Now then, um, oopsies, we wanted to do this kind of thing. And then we're going to prioritize input from the right. So that uh, is used faster, but yeah, I'm worried about this. This may not be great. Do we have, I forgot to look at our capacities. We're about at half capacity of where we could be. So we need to get stuff researched pretty soon, pretty darn soon indeed. All right, let's make sure that we have these guys powered, which of course they're not. But one thing that my memory, as dreadful as it is, it's not led me to forget. Ha ha, nanobots. Yes, refill. Nice. Now then, we can put this wood in here since we're passing by. Coal. We, I, I don't think we even need any of this except, well, it is making nanobots. This whole factory is making nanobots. <laughs> Bit of a joke, but it's okay. Uh, okay, now then, we need, what do we need uh, next? I think, okay, so I've been looking at the map and we have oil. We got our oil done. We have petroleum. What we need to make red circuits is plastic. So I was thinking this factory down here might be perfect for plastic. We have coal coming in here. There's a very big coal patch. There's one here, but this one is quite big. It's 74 million. And there's another one somewhere else that I've lost. Um, Anyway, it is some, it's somewhere. I don't, oh, here it is. 20 million right up there. So those are all within decent proximity to this place. And more importantly, this is in decent proximity to red circuits, which is fairly close to green circuits because red is going to need a lot of green and it also needs plastic and it needs copper. So where is copper being made? Uh, again, it's down here. Okay, great. So I think that would be ideal. We, let's. So in this episode, I'd really like to start producing plastic at one of these factories. I forgot. Do we need, oh, we need chem plants for that. Oh dear. I forgot about that entirely. Didn't I? Um, that's right. Yeah. Made in a chem plant. See here. I was thinking we're going to make it in an assembler. <laughs> Silly me. <clears throat> yes. Anyway. Yeah. This kind of worries me. We might even get this set up better because we don't actually need coal for this. We can use the solid fuel that we're making at this station and just kind of feed it in to help out. Wow, we don't have a lot of solid fuel being made either. Uh, but that's, oh, it's just because we don't have enough uh, chem plants. Okay, so I think maybe we should work on the electricity problem instead of worrying too much about plastic right now, especially since my plans and, and hopes have been slightly dashed. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I thought you could make plastic in an assembler. I've only played some 1400 hours of this game and somehow it just slipped out of my mind. Anyway, it's all good. 
we need what? We need uh, the chem plants, which are made here. Go mall shopping. Yo. Um, can I recycle anything else? Yeah. Yeah, normally I do close these chests with the circuit conditions, but I've kind of eh, just gotten lazy. Sometimes it's easier also just to, you know, move the um, the slider instead of worrying too much about things like um, like typing in numbers and stuff like that. You don't have to type. Which is kind of annoying because my, my microphone is like right above my keyboard. So I have to like move my head, my whole body back just to see stuff. <laughs> so that's why I'm not that keen on typing in this game. I mean, I know where WASD is. That is not a problem. But it's the parts where you have to look at the numbers or something like that that's um, a little bit more hazardous. Okay, I'm going to need another chest, possibly two. Let's unload this car-ish. Uh, I'm going to unload my inventory into that chest so I can just take stuff out of this chest. Okay, take that out. All right, now then, take all of this out and put some back in here. Oh, wow, how nice. Okay, that's better. I want to take half of these guys. Oh, see, there it goes again. I've totally messed this up already. Okay, what I'm going to do is take a certain number. Of, I, I don't like that it does that. I wish it would not take half of each stack. I wish it would just take half of the total. Um, because that's what is annoying with the train cars and stuff like that. When you're taking stuff out, it just like, you know, keeps these half stacks in there and it does not refresh like the inventory actually refreshes, which is nice. All right. Um, now then, we we're going to do that. We have the fuel set up, but we don't have a train set up. We need to have a train station up here too to get fuel in. But at the moment, I think what I'm going to do is we don't actually need that much stuff. So I'm just going to run down there and place the chemical plants so that more solid fuel can get uh, produced. And then we'll have less issues with this whole thing. There we go. Boom. Okay, and that is done. And now we're going to have much more solid fuel produced. Instead of like five factories, we have whatever, 20 or something down there. We have several. And by the way, those are not made to any specific specifications of numbers. I just plopped as many down as I had or as I thought would be needed. Now, what we want to do here is have a station feeding fuel to our steam engines. So that station is likely going to be furthest to the right here. So I want to just... Um, do we need coal? I don't know if we need coal here. We're not going to feed the coal for that. I think we'll just feed solid. Well, we might feed coal. We might actually want to feed coal. We could have a separate station. We could have it called power coal or something like that so that we know absolutely what it's for. All right. Now this was going to go north, I think, right? I think that's what this track was for. It was supposed to go north. This one was going to go right and this one was going to go left. I'm trying to remember like what I had in, in mind for these stations and stuff. All right, let's take our train up a little bit along the road and see where we want to make our solid fuel station. Because we definitely need a reliable source of fuel for this. This is no joke here. We do not want to go into a power uh, death spiral. Life is worse when that happens. Trust me, I know this information. Okay, cool. Now this I intend as an exit lane only. I do not want to connect this to the main line to go left. If I want the trains to go left, I'll have them go about on the top side, I think. 
Um, all right, so here we are in the middle of the world. Oh my goodness, my cat is so curious. Ooh, the curiosity in her face. Yes, my precious Araminta. Good cat. I had to give her a bath the other day. She had gone to the vet for um, some, some medical thing, and they sprayed this horrible, horrible stuff on her. They call it... Um, I don't know what they call it, but it's like, oh, cats have kennel smell. And I'm like, she was only there half a day. How could she have any kennel smell? Um, but yeah, they pr they sprayed this perfume, which like didn't make any sense at all to me because it um, it smelled like very cheap perfume. And I was like, my cat is going to smell that her whole day. And I don't know if she likes it or not. So anyway, gave the cat a bath. And the cat looked so much happier after that bath. Because before she was just sitting, just miserable. Um, but after the bath, she was really quite happy. Uh, I'm looking for train. Ooh, I have a thing called train stations. How interesting. We want to have an unloading station. One side, I think. Ah, yes. This is the one that is blue, but we can improve this to be red. But yeah, I don't know why they do that. I totally do not get that at all. It just was like, okay, so smell is caused by either, you know, bacteria or chemicals, right? And, huh, these are, this is the wrong distance between the rails. Um, but anyway, so basically you're just putting more chemicals on my cat to disguise the stuff that you didn't already wash off. It just, just like, go away, people. Don't do this, please. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> it was so bad. Oh, man. So anyway, I, I told the, 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 the people about my displeasure, that's for sure. Um, but it's just, it's like, why? You know, why? They do take care of dogs mostly at that uh, particular uh, vet clinic, but they're also very good vets. So it's kind of like, eh, you know, I don't really want to change veterinary peoples because they've always taken good care of the cats. But anyway, it's all good. Here we go. We have our train thing set up. We're getting our fuel station put in. Okay, and we have, aha, fuel is not going to be a problem though. Oh, you know what? I should have, I should have changed the inserters while I was at it. I think change from, ah, I'll just, I think I still have the thing off from last time. Yeah, I have the ghost blueprinty thingy mod off. I think it's a good mod. I don't think I've really used it a lot. But, um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting mod. It's kind of funny. I'll, I'll go through these periods of like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm using this mod a ton or whatever. And, and others, you know, maybe not so much. But, you know, it's up to you whatever your particular play style is as to, you know, what is best for you. There we go. There we are. Okay. So we now have, we're going to call this one solid fuel unloading. Um, should we call it base? I think we should call it base. I don't think we have anything called, you know, we're going to call it power. Power SF drop off. Solid fuel drop off. Okay. And this is going to be gray 160. I think we decided it was in the other episode. Or was that petroleum? Might have been petroleum. Whatever. Uh, we can change the other one to that same kind of color. Yeah, we didn't color it at all. Okay, let's make this one also 160. Just to help us remember what it is. Okay, good. Uh, oh, and we forgot to name it. This is called Solid SF1 Pickup. Everybody's going to think we're living in San Francisco. <laughs> It's all good though. I like San Francisco. In particular, I love that song about San Francisco where people wear flowers in their hair. I absolutely adore that song. I don't know why. It sounds so charming and lovely and I just can't get enough of it. It's really beautiful. Anyway, let's just um, proceed. Solid fuel San Francisco. What's the difference, right? It's all good. Oopsies. 
Now this is going to be a, a no-go soon. We're going to have to watch out for trains as we uh, expand our base more, get things going. I don't think we're going to need four things at all. So over here, I'm going to combine these guys into one, um, one track here. What I'm going to do is we're going to prioritize the coal in this. Now I'm hoping very, very much to not, oh, right. I, okay, to not have to need more lanes of fuel, I'm hoping just to transition to nuclear power. Okay, so here we have this happening. We need to get our splitters. We want to um, input priority from the right, the coal, and then we're going to fill with the left, which is going to be the solid fuel. Because we, we definitely do not want power to go out. I cannot iterate this enough. It's like you do not ever, ever want that to happen because it's very scary. We're going to just connect this directly to the power poles here. If I can find any. There we go. Okay, so this is lit up nicely. Um, and I might do exactly the same to make a coal train here, just in case we don't have enough solid fuel. I kind of think we might have enough. Okay, so let's just copy and paste this entire thing and shove it down here. Do right after that signal. Yep. Can I do it there? Is that going to be happy? Is that signal going to be lovely? I do want to put a chain signal here though instead. Okay, this is not happy. That is definitely very unhappy. Right, that does not work there at all. Nope, 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 nope. Get rid of this. Get rid of the whole lot. Just the whole lot. Sorry. I failed to look at the conveyor belt thingy things. Kind of important to do that. Just slightly. Alright, and get rid of this signal because that's not needed. Now then. Do not upset the conveyor belts. Okay, Wes, what are you doing? Yay, nanobots, go, go, go. Now, we also want to think about like how we want to have a parking lot. I'm thinking we just have one parking lot for these two stations. Um, in fact, we may not even need a parking lot. We could just, just have, since we're having two sources of fuel coming in, I don't think it's necessary to have two thingy things. Let's go ahead and put this here. And what I want to do, I think at this moment, oh, I need a, um, a splitter. I think at this moment, we want to prioritize using the solid fuel right now, because right now we don't have a use for it in terms of rocket fuel or um, other products made from this. I don't know if there are any other products now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I could look it up. I love FNEI, by the way. It's wonderful. Let's see. Um solid fuel usage it is only used in rocket fuel okay so we're not making rocket fuel right now and i do not want to store chests and chests of it so we are going to definitely use this stuff okay let's go back this is good though i feel like we're definitely making progress this is a, a totally cool thing to make progress Elite. Okay, cool. Let's get our splitters going on here. And again, prioritize from the left to prioritize the solid fuel coming out here. Okay, so this is, what are you? Your power SF fuel drop off. This is power coal drop off, just in case we need it. 
Okay, good. And we'll make the station black because it makes sense. I guess. Coal. And the other thing we could do is put down some chests here, here, and here. Have a little bitty thingy -dee thing going there. And just have some fuel for the trains to get in here. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. Do we have any fueling here? We seem to have neglected fueling. <laughs> All right, we're going to fix that in just a second. Let's just get a train coming in here with stuff. All right, let's start off with our train for the solid fuel. Um, do I have... I need cars. And this train, what are we going to do with this train? I'm going to have SF1 pickup. Should we wait until it's full? I'm kind of worried about that because I don't think we have enough production. But on the other hand, when it arrives, it's going to be full. So, all right, we'll 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 do that for now. And we're going to go to Power SF drop off and then say inventory empty. Okay, go. Uh, except you can't because you need fuel. Here, have this. Here, have this. Take wood for fuel. <laughs> go for it. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Can you go? Hello. What's going on here? This is red. Why is it red? This one is red because this entire thing is one block. Okay, so if you have issues with blocks, this is why we need blocks. This entire thing, look at this, this is one block one block this whole bottom thing and the issue is our building train is on the block so what i'm going to do i don't want to put signals along the whole thing because i want to add stations and not have to delete the signals all the time so what we're going to do is make a little compromise here and just put a signal here and here and we will also have one kind of splitting up this block so we could have like maybe two trains standing here or ish so that uh, trains can go. Okay, boom, done. Uh, right, oh, <laughs> and guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to take that train down to the solid fuel place. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, we have fast running shoes on, we're getting our exercise today. Moving along, it'll be fine. Maybe we'll even beat the train there, there's the train. Hey train, how you doing? I wonder which train that is. Oh my God, we're running faster than the train, good. So. Right, we have this issue, which is going to be interesting actually, because looks like we have one space here that all of these guys share. So what I'm going to do is we need to have our fueling going on, which also happens to be in range of the power poles. Talk about good luck. You know what? I'm going to borrow that fuel, um, fuel, <laughs> borrow these, um, bits of wood from you and make some wooden boxes. How many? Five? Is that good enough? One, two, three, four, and five. That's perfect. Here, you can have the rest. Thank you. All right, we're going to take these crates. I love the way the wooden crates look. They look absolutely awesome. They're so adorable. Okay, we're going to do this. Get this guy there. We're going to make sure that we have one thing full. All right, now I want to grab this belt there. Take away, I think we're okay. We don't need to take away anything. Okay. So that was not exactly in the right place. Oh dear. All right, take off the track. And we'll put this here for now. Also here, there, these other guys are lined up. It looks like it's just the first one that was being a little bit tiny pesky with us. All right. Um, as before, I think I'll leave the underground here. The underground allows this thing to grab more than one at once, though being at the end of the line, it really doesn't matter. I guess I could take it off. Why not? OK, 
Okay, it's fine. We'll save an underground. Okay, it's fine. All right, so this works, uh, except these guys are out of range, so we need to put power poles with them. It's all right, there we go. Look at this, we're getting fuel. So let's go ahead and take this train back to the base. It is not nearly full. Wait, why does it have... Oh, right. Now there is a slight issue. <laughs> I didn't notice. Uh, we don't have any inserters happening because they're all the wrong kinds of inserters. Yes, this would help. Uh huh. Okay, so once these are relatively ready, we're going to go and take this train back. I'm kind of anxious to see. Oh, look at how it's filling up nicely with fuel. Excellent. This is very good. Very, very good. Oh, that makes me happy. Wow. Okay, so we're not going to wait for this entire thing. We're just going to go to Power SF Drop Up. Right. Ah, yes, we have a new problem. I forgot we didn't uh, connect the station. Also, we need to change the color of the train, which I sort of forgot to do. Just slightly. I kind of wish also this you could tab between fields here. That would be nice. Okay, train, you stay here. Um, when we're ready for you, we'll, we'll call for you. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so many things one forgets, but it's okay. We have time, you know? We have all the time in the universe to play this game. And it's fun, and it's lovely, and it's good. So, life is okay. Now then, I think what I want to do is we'll take our curve. I don't think I want to have a parking spot or a, um, a stacker parking thingy thing here. I think we're just gonna have a regular line from the main thing. We'll have the same kind of, um, same area for both. Oh, this See, this is why I keep a, a 90 degree curve in my inventory is this craziness. Uh, Cause I want it to be exactly 90, like not extended, you know, just, but yeah. Okay, there we go. I kind of wish that would be improved too, but I don't know how to fix that. All right, here we go. Uh, we need a signal to come into here so that when trains go off, they don't block the rest of the, the whole thing. And we will have a chain signal here. I, they don't really need a chain signal to choose, but anyway, it's all good. I will put a signal down here for Oh, it's not going to show me the curved cars, is it? One, two, three. No, it's not. Four, five. Okay. We'll just put one there. I don't think we're going to have any more than two trains, but we can hold a third here. So we don't need an elaborate parking lot for this whole thing. I think I severely miscalculated also how much space I needed for parking lots. Um, maybe I was using the diagonal ones. I don't remember. Oh, look at how crunchy this looks. I love these these icons and stuff for this. This is so good. Wow, nice. Okay, cool. And it's coming down the line as we expected it to. The good thing about solid fuel is it lasts a lot longer than coal in these um in the engines and the steam engines. So it's going to be um even better for the longevity of, of the fueling. Okay, let's change. What do we need to do next? We need to, yeah, I don't know how the heck I calculated this because there's not enough room for parking there. Is there? Let me just check this. This is gonna drive me crazy if I don't check. Okay, like this? Yes, there is. Okay, if I use diagonal parking, this would work. And I wanted several layers of it because you know you could have overlapping stuff, but okay, cool, that works. It's a good thing. I think I'm going to delete this train track here because I don't think that we're going to have any more stations further to the right of those. I might be mistaken. You never can tell, uh, but I don't anticipate it. Oh, I missed one. Darn it. See here and I am I'm supposed to be a train pro. Uh, we'll take this one out and just leave that one signal. This is happy there. 
Right. I I do feel kind of nervous using this very high speed of walking because, um, <laughs> yeah, because I, you can easily step on a train track and not, uh, not realize it. Oh, right. Okay. It's kind of sad. Um, Power poles unconnected in the middle of nowhere. Reflection on sad times. Okay, so we were discussing plastic before. And we have this issue that plastic is not made in an, one of these assemblers. So I'm going to have to figure out where we want to have it. We might even have the plastic very near the red circuits. Um, I'm not quite sure if we want to have... Um, like additional assemblers that are not mega mega assemblers right next to the red circuits or not, but we could make plastic next to them and make our logistics a little bit easier. Oh, there's iron there. How nice and tasty. So I'll think about that. And meanwhile, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.